Hey, what's up, people? This is Mo Truth. Uh, I'm back after a little hiatus. Um, I'm gonna start doing some quick commentary videos. Try to switch it up until I get my new software uh, for making videos. So, I heard a guy talking about why the elites really worship Saturn. Okay, and he went on a big spiel about how it was positioned in the sky, second sun, things like this. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name and doesn't matter anyway. But why the elites worship Saturn, okay? And I haven't heard anybody but my partner uh, around Saturn's eye talk about this. And he hasn't even went into this in depth. The elites worship Saturn because it is the home base of Lucifer uh, not by choice he, he's trapped inside this planet this planet is alive and he is inside this thing a fractal prison I'm not gonna go into it too much on this one right here but that's what's going on um, that's the only reason and the fallen have been teaching mankind about these symbols uh, for thousands of years. That's how they knew about these things before the telescope, way before the telescope. So you have the eye on the south pole, right? Okay. The eye goes here. This is what this is all about. And it's because he is watching from this area. He's also projecting a dimension that sits right over top of us. That's how that's how they're able to access us human beings on Earth. It's all being projected from here, and it's all being watched from here. Okay, so you have uh, this, which we've all seen. It's uh, the one I showed a moving image of a minute ago. I'll show it again. Um, you know, this is this is on the North Pole, okay. And looking down into there, if we could see through those clouds, if we could see through this stuff, it's all obscured here. We would see straight through to the bottom, through the eye, okay through the eye and um, that's why it's a bottomless pit the bottomless pit revelations 9-11 okay um, and this is what we're talking about North Pole but this is if we could see through this is what it would be this is the bottomless pit all obscured by clouds and they, you know, scientists can't explain why these clouds can stay moving in a polygon, hexagon, a hexagonal uh, path. Well, they could explain it, but they're not going to because this has nothing to do with physics. This is this is a living spirit that is uh, controlling this area and he's um, he's trapped there he can do a lot of things from there but um, he's not going anywhere until his prostitutes the endless amounts of secret societies on this earth that work for Lucifer until they um, complete all the tedious tasks of, of getting them out and 9-11 was one of them one of many these rituals all these wars all sacrifices holocaust world war two world war one who knows how far it goes back but uh... yeah until until they can complete all these things he's not going anywhere but uh, that's basically it. 
uh, just wanted to explain because I thought it was funny how this guy he, he he acted like he knew he was telling you why the elites really worship this planet, and it had to do with uh, you know <laughs> the way it sat in the ancient skies. And he said nothing about Lucifer, the beast, being imprisoned inside this planet. So. I just want to make a quick video on that. Uh, more to come. Alright. I'm trying to bring people to Christ. Uh, everything we do is in the name of Christ here. And, you know, this is an adulterous generation that seeks a sign. And the church says that we shouldn't be showing people the occult. Well, we don't care what the church says, first of all. But because they're not doing their job as far as I'm concerned but just telling Christ, telling people that Christ is their savior doesn't seem to work anymore if you can convince people that the wicked spiritual realm exists they will understand that Christ exists and Christ is the only power that stands against the fallen guys he, he's the only one he's the only one he, you know if not for Christ we'd be in a world of hurt here and Christ couldn't save us from the flesh, but he saved our souls. And could you imagine if he didn't? We would have to suffer in the flesh, and then we would have to suffer in the spirit. But thanks to our Lord, who is Christ, Son of the Father, we only have to suffer in the flesh. But while we're here, we need to do his work and his will. And show other people that there's hope for the spirit all right guys more to come um i'm back and um, a lot of videos coming so